Hi, welcome back to Penwell Sailing Adventures. So, today we're trying to finish up the keel. Ended up uh, renting a little toy for some reinforcements because my old compressor wasn't quite enough to run the needle scaler long enough to work. So, this actually worked out really well. Almost perfect for what I'm trying to do. So, what we have here is basically the starboard side of my keel. You see these small rust spots? I've had more than a few people tell me they're not much to worry about. You know, you know paint around them sand them a little unfortunately when you see the small spots like this that's sticking through fiberglass and any kind of top coating you can almost expect underneath is going to be almost three times the size of any kind of damage to the keel which is what we have here all the pitting all the freaking pieces that are just rotted out this is the side that has been treated on the starboard side and you can see they started out as small pinholes but how much damage they actually have so it's always a good idea to completely repair something like this and not just touch it up or just try to fill it in for later. And you'll see later on <laughs> actually how bad that got. So we're going back over the edge here where we stopped the repair before just to make sure we got fresh metal and uh, connecting to the other repair much better than, you know, just trying to have a hard lip to it. Cut into the old bit of uh, part that I fixed already. Makes a smoother transition. But yeah, that's the nice thing with that other compressor. You can see I'm not losing pressure at all with it. Got one that's big enough. 17 gallon compressor. Enough CFM to keep that needle scaler going pretty much full speed the whole time. Actually enough that it heated up in my hand quite a few times. Had to stop just to cool my hand off. But it was just tearing through the old finish of this keel like nothing. So here we are on the starboard side of the boat, on the keel here, and you can see that big patch there, all those cracks. Uh, we find out what's been hiding underneath of that very shortly. But yeah, that needle scaler worked really good with that other compressor. It just tore through this like it was nothing. Now we start to find our not so lovely surprise that's under all that ablative and those cracks. I thought, ah, we'll go right through this just like we did over on the starboard side. Here on the port side, it's not going through it. Find a lot tougher fiberglass over here, a lot tougher media, and finding out why, you'll see in a little bit, we end up having to chisel all this off because there is a huge cavity in the side of this boat that I don't even think the previous owner was even aware of. It looks like it's an older repair and uh, yeah you'll see. It's not the best thing in the world to find. Something I'm sure I can fix but it's all going to depend on how good the seat actually is for the keel to the hull right now because of what I find here. So that'll determine to me whether or not I'm going to actually need to replace this keel or I can still fix it. 
because it's still salvageable as long as that seat to the boat's actual hull from the top of the keel is still good and hasn't been completely rotted and compromised like a lot of the rest of this keel has with the heavy scaling. Well, you can see we got the chisel out now. This is when we realized this is going to be a bigger job. You see that dark piece of metal right there above where I'm working? That is actually a reinforcement that was tack welded in to make a kind of a matrix for this filler to hold. It's pretty tough stuff too. I was tearing into it pretty harsh to get it off. Yeah, basically just start taking off in large chunks. Actually feeling like a stonemason for quite a little while there. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and watch here, and thankfully you can't see the disappointment in my face, but we will cue the sad music. So this is the lovely port side of the keel. You can see the heavy fiberglass, some of the metal, and of course, this nice massive cavity that we have in the middle of the keel. It was apparently tried to repair before. Now you can even see where some of the weld still was there and where some of the uh, bar was laying over top of it to make the matrix up. But yeah. This is what we have to deal with. And here's what's left of that repair. You can see the bolts in there, some little uh, bar stock they used, and a lot of unknown filler. Pretty heavy duty stuff, took a lot to tear through. But yeah, I took about 60 pounds to 80 pounds of this filler out of the keel so far. But that's what we're going to be working with. Just remember, when you buy a used boat, you never know what's under the fiberglass. So here we are inside the boat, and yes, that is a dummy fireplace I made. Let's see if it'll fit. But you can see I pulled the headliner down. Thankfully, that is not mold in the ceiling. That is just the color of the resin. But this is what we're doing on the interior, putting a uh, new interior in half the boat. Just uh, ceiling, walls, make it a lot nicer.